just don't even know how this is possible. Francisco literally just filled the bird feeder like two days ago and it's just empty already. Some hungry winter bird. My entourage when I'm getting ready in the morning. They're like, girl, your cat eye ain't got nothing on ours. Alexa, weather. In Cincinnati, it's zero degrees with clear skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds with a high of 25 degrees and a low of zero degrees. I walked into the kitchen and I was just getting my phone ready and I heard meow. I looked around to see where Colby was and there's Colby. So he <laughs> obviously climbed from the floor up on top of the cabinets. Every night Zorro crawls on top of Francisco and becomes his little kitty blanket to keep him nice and cozy, right honey? Okay. I'm getting ready to go to work, tripping over a cat here. What's up? What's up, Colby? Um, and the weather is supposed to be atrocious today. Like it's supposed to be uh, just really bad driving conditions. Stay right there. Do not fall. Um, and I'm just really nervous because I just don't have a good track record. Like Cincinnati is so hilly um, and I got into an accident uh, probably a couple of years ago driving to work and it was just a really small one but just you know when you're like when I tried to brake you know the road was just too slick so I hit the person in front of me just barely bumped them but um, I mean it wasn't a huge thing it's just well right now it's just raining it's really ugly and rainy outside and the temperature is gonna drop later turn more sleety and so I'm not looking forward to it. I left work early to avoid any bad weather, so I'm home. It's about almost 2.30. Gonna turn up the heat and make some tea and work on some stuff on the computer. So, and it's Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. It's MLK Day weekend. He has such a long name. <laughs> so, woohoo, three and a half day weekend. Francisco's hitting the bird feeder down to try and save it so it doesn't get all messed up. I can feel it starting to freeze over. Wait, let me see. Okay, that's ice. This is all ice. Feel the, the deck getting a little slick. Little slick. Yeah. Colby thinks he's gonna go outside. Nope. You think you want to go outside again? Are you sure? Have you seen it out there? You really want to go, huh? Okay. Francisco pointed out this is what I would have been driving home in so thank goodness that I left work early because it's just getting worse and worse he is so fascinated by the snow business so Francisco whipped us up some Amy's quarter pound veggie burgers that we've had in the freezer for a real long time that's true <laughs> we're waiting for the right occasion so we're finally gonna try them they're squishier than 
than I thought they'd be. Yeah, I was worried when I was making them. They had a kind of a like soft feel to them. They're rather soft. Like a bean burger almost, right? No. They're just mushy. It's so bright out outside. Usually it would be like pitch black. I always find it so interesting how much brighter it is outside when it snows. There's a morning view that we have with the sunrise in the distance. And it's super cold out here, so that's all you're gonna get from me. We were just saying that all the snow on the deck has pretty much blown off. Like there should definitely have been more accumulation there. And then I was like, well, let's look in the corners where it was kind of blowing and you can see how so much of it went in between the screen and the glass door here. And it's just built up like that. That's pretty cool. We discovered this on Colby's nose the other day. You can see he has a scratch there. So we don't know if he got into a tussle with Zara or just did something else that's pretty crazy because he's Colby. Francisco's been working on training the cat. He takes each of their paws before he gives them food to eventually they'll give him, they'll present paws. <laughs> Just one. Good boy. They're like the first one's bad enough. It'll be all for Zorro. He's gonna take it, he's gonna take it all. Uh, uh. Okay, now get you some. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh you go for Zorro's side. Look at him. Like Zaro got it nice and moistened. It was like a pre soggy Oreo. <laughs> pre soggy Oreo? Yeah. Is he eating Zaro still? Yes! <laughs> He's such a little shit. My full order from Ulta came in today. I got, not today, it came in like two days ago but I got this uh, Love Your Skin Ulta Collection. It says it's $30, $75 value. I got it for $15, so I thought that was pretty cool. I was gonna do an unboxing of all this stuff, but I mean, you can already see what is all inside of it, so I don't think that would make the most interesting video, but I'll probably just do a blog post or something. So then I also got this Love Your Skin Collection. Uh, same deal, $30. This one's actually a $71 value but I got it for $15, so that's pretty cool. And then I got the Must Have Masks collection. This one was $9.99, a $20 value. I did pay full price for this. Then the Cleanse and Hydrate. This one's a little bit heavier. Um, and this is $9.99 and a $30 value. And the other thing I got was this pre-cleanse balm from Dermalogica. Uh, I think I've tried this before, and I wanted something for removing my makeup that wasn't... I've been using uh, coconut oil, and I thought I liked that, but I feel like it's kind of irritating to my eyes, so I don't know that I will continue to use that. And also, this came in the mail yesterday, I think, um, and this is this Hot Tools Insta Curl Easy Styler, and I did win this from a blog giveaway. Francis goes downstairs playing video games where we don't really keep the heat on. And this is his kitty blanket. Keeps his feet warm. Okay, instead of taking the tree down and putting everything away like normal people would be doing around this time of year, we're gonna carry it downstairs for the moment. <laughs> Babe, what should I do? Do you want me to hold like the stem or something? I think right now I'm good. Okay. But yeah, it's our stilting. 
Grab it. You're on emergency catch duties. Get it under there. <laughs> okay, you want me to hold it? <sighs> Babe, did you fall down? <laughs> okay, so I'll just put it against this wall here. I think this is super cozy. It'll be cute if we put some garland on the stairs and have second Christmas down here. <laughs> we gotta do something about the game shelf over there though. But we can deal with that later. the sound of Zaro knocking at the door like he does every night saying humans you gotta come let me in you forgot me there he is oh, Christmas